engine brake in, I'll put them as quickly. Um, really, really try and focusing on, on, on breaking in the cylinders and the, 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 the mat, mating the piston rings to the cylinders. Um, I think it's very, um, I think it's a good idea to use a multi-weight oil because it is going to be the right viscosity and give you oil pressure sooner and very good for break-in, uh, but always follow your engine builder's um, manufacturer's recommendations. Um, very important, uh, if you never preheat again, do it when the engine's new. Uh, much, much better for the engine. Um, always smooth application, reduction of power is, is, is better. <coughs> um, people say, you know, fly the engine like you stole it to break it in. Uh, fly it rich, maybe 200 to 250 degrees with your peak, and then careful for overspeeding and fixed pitch props and high temperatures. Uh, the break in process, uh, you'll see cylinder head temperatures and oil temperatures both drop usually within an hour or two. Um, use shallow climbs and descents. And then on the final, don't just pull it back and land. Um, slowly, you know, reduce the power. Uh, the components run in cylinders, most important. Uh, you need the high pressures, use high power to, 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 to remove those um, high spots on the, on the hone marks um, and minimize the uh, blow by. Um, a lot of people think I'm going to baby the engine during break in. All this does is lead to cylinder glazing which means you have to have the cylinders pulled off, rehomed, and do the break-in process right the second time. Um, steel cylinders or nickel cylinders uh, both break in very quickly. Hard chrome cylinders, not so much. Not very common these days, but um, they, they don't break in uh, nearly as easily. Um, you're also making the cam lifters, guides, the valves, and the rock arm bushings. Um, Ring break-in is pretty quick, an hour or so, um, but usually the first 25 to 50 hours uh, help in, in the determination of the uh, engine longevity. And the first 10 to 15 hours of break-in will always complete and uh, temperature stabilize, uh, oil consumption stabilizes. Um, so, when should your first oil change be after a new engine? Okay, I recommend usually manu the manufacturer or <coughs> engine builder will run the engine for an hour or two, uh, make sure it's making power and you know, see if there's any problems. So, there's your first oil change when they ship you the engine, no oil. So, now you go another uh, eight to ten hours is my recommendation. Um, and then uh, you can go 15 to 25 hours on the next oil change after that. But I think that 10 hour oil change is very, very important. For cold weather operations, what's the new oil temperature you want to see? Well, I, I like to see 100 degrees oil temperature. I'll actually see 100 degrees before I taxi my plane. And when you don't fly? Well, you know, the, the oil temperature when you're out flying depends on the installation of your particular airplane, where the probe is, you know, is it post-cooler, is it pre-cooler, um, you know, the oil temperature, the, the, the green areas are uh, 165 to 245, depending on the airplane. Um, I like to see pre-oil cooler temperatures um, uh, over 200 degrees. Just get rid of the water. Minimize the water. You can't get rid of it.